So here's the deal. We're gonna have right here, we're gonna fill this up to eight, right? Because we're gonna have eight ounces of active ingredient that we need to get rid of. And the idea is that we can adjust the flow. So the hose goes in here and we'll be able to adjust the flow using this little lever right here. And what that'll do is it'll just adjust how much comes out. So what we need to understand is how long is it gonna take to spray eight ounces of product out of this apparatus and what setting are we gonna use? And then we can set it up so that it will spray out in a kind of logical way across this thousand square feet. So here's what we need to find out, right? We need to find out is how long is it gonna to take to spray our product out of here, right? Because there's some things we already do know and those are some facts. So the facts are that we need eight ounces per thousand square feet and we know that Frankenlawn is 1,000 square foot of area. So that works, right? But I need to know how fast do I need to walk? That's essentially what I need to know. And then secondly, I just need to make sure that the mix rate will still be okay because I've got two gallon minimum per eight ounces. And that's just to keep your concentrations right. You don't, you don't wanna over apply by having something overly concentrated. So there's a couple things we're gonna look at. First is we're gonna see how long does it take eight ounces of product to come out of this sprayer and be diluted into the water and sprayed out. You know, how long does that take? And then the next piece is how much is left in the bottom? Because as I told you, there is no tank sprayer that can pump out 100%, so we'll need to hedge against that. So whatever's left in the bottom, we'll need to add that to the total to make sure that we don't get an under application. Then the last thing we're gonna do is just do a double check to make sure that in the time allotted for this to come out of here, that it, at least two gallons go through here to make sure that we're gonna meet this two gallon minimum. So let's do that. Let's do a couple different tests here. Okay, so let's come back here. I hope the microphone on this is gonna be fine. So what I wanna do is I wanna test this, right? And I, I'm not gonna test it with the actual product that we're using. I need to test it with something that's kind of more inert and just see, but I also am not sure, because again, I told you I've never used one of these. I don't know if water kind of circulates in here and then pumps it out so that you know it starts out one color and when it runs clear, then you know that it's empty. I don't know if it works that way or does it just suck the stuff out of there? Um, I'm assuming because it has this, I'm assuming because it has this nozzle that goes in there, there is no water that's constituted in there. But either way, just in case, I need to be able to see that. And then secondly, I need to be able to see something that's darker because if I test with this, this is almost the same color as water. It'll be really hard to see through this. So I figured that for our test, we're just gonna have to use a darker liquid. And I figured that the best way to test would be to use a nice dark liquid like this wine here because, I mean, who doesn't like to put a little wine on their lawn every once in a while, right? Now, we're also not gonna test eight ounces of this. We can test the minimum amount here, which is four ounces, and then we can just extrapolate out by doing a little math to figure out how long it'll take to do eight. Maybe I can do a video, what does wine do to lawns? Okay, well, I can't tilt the camera for you to see it, but there are four ounces in there. I put it on the level surface there and tested it out. All right, so now we're ready. So it looks like with most spray equipment, it's impossible to pump this out 100%. There's always gonna be a little bit left in the bottom and that's, that's pretty typical. So I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like there's one ounce of liquid left, about a Baptist communion cup shot is what that is. So it doesn't look like it'll pump all the way out. So what we need to do is, when we put in our actual solution, is we need to adjust and add one extra ounce knowing that it won't pump out fully. Mmm, that's a good vintage. Holy cow, we're going freehand here. Okay. So I'm probably doing this a little out of order here, but either way, now we know that this thing won't pump out. There's always gonna be an ounce left in the bottom, but now I need to know how long is it gonna take to pump eight ounces out so I know how fast I need to walk across my ground. Well, the problem here is, is that the lowest measurement here is four. So what I did is I had to waste a little bit more wine as I filled it up to the 10 mark and then I just drained it out and I kind of watched the increments as I had my timer running, so I would watch 
And when it got to eight, I would make a mark. And when it got to six, I would make a mark. And when it got to four, I would make a mark. And that kind of let me understand how long it's taking to pump out two ounces of product. And what I came up with is one minute. It's actually 56 seconds with my water pressure, but I'm gonna go ahead and round it to make my math easy. So it takes one minute for this sprayer to push out two ounces of active ingredient out through its business end. As you'll remember from over here, we need eight ounces for 1,000 square feet. So then I know that two ounces pumps out every minute. So if I do a little math here, then I can take eight divided by two, and I know it's gonna take me four minutes to spray my 1,000 square foot area. So I have to kind of watch my walking speed to make sure that I cover my 1,000 square foot area in four minutes evenly and consistently. Okay, last piece of information we need. I know this seems like it takes forever, but it literally only takes a minute or two in the field. I just make it last 10 minutes on a video because I need more ad revenue. All right, so the last thing we need to verify is, is that for this eight ounce application, are we gonna have a minimum of two gallons of water to mix in? We just wanna make sure that we're just not mixed too strong here. So the way we do that is through a simple bucket test and we make sure that a minimum of two gallons of water comes out during four minutes. And if that's the case, we know that eight ounces will have been delivered and we're good. four quarts. So what we know is that this hose sprays out four quarts in 30 seconds or eight quarts in one minute. One U.S. liquid gallon equals four U.S. liquid quarts. So that means then that this hose with this nozzle or sprayer on it puts out two gallons per minute. That's good. You know, the views are really down on my channel lately. I don't know if that's because of the winter time or if that's because of the fact that we have some crazy Google algorithm changes going on. At least that's what all the big YouTubers say. But either way, I'm going to do like them and I'm going to say, would you smash that like button right now? Smash that for a lawn care guy who drinks wine in the winter in his lawn. So there you go guys, there's the application of potash or potassium. I'll link in the description below to where you can pick this up from Sebastian yourself. The only thing I will say here is, is that it's inevitable that your hose is going to get product on it. Even the best hose management, which you see me practicing here by the way I hold it and the way I move and all that, you're still going to drag this through the product, it's still going to get sprayed, it's just what happens. Now when you're a commercial applicator that's okay because everything gets wrapped up in your truck and dries and you're always wearing safety equipment and you know the inside of an applicator's truck is full of crap anyway. But I'm a homeowner here and I'm going to have to 
to wrap this up and probably spray my roses with it next year. So that's one of those things I don't like. And I don't, I don't think this potassium will do any negative effects to anything. I think it'll dry and be fine. But it's still one of those things I don't like, which is another reason I don't like a hose-in sprayer. But I figured it was something we would try today. I do like the application. I like the way it went on. It was smooth. It was easy. Kind of nice, kind of reminded me of my old spray days. So that part was fun. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Please leave your comments and questions below, and I'll see you in the lawn. All right, so here we are six days after application, and I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera or not, but man, I mean, I didn't think I was going to get visible results from this, but holy cow, I mean, this puppy has really picked up nicely. Look at this. It's not really growing any faster, but definitely the growth that we're getting is overall, I don't know, greener, vigorouser. I don't know what the word is here, but man. Definitely gonna have to do some more testing with this K25. I'll link below where you guys can pick this up. As always, I'll see you in the lawn, literally today.